So how can we trust the science behind the things that we're taking if the labs are faulty? I've got to have a real reason to put somebody on a supplement. Yeah. Then the next step is what is the quality of that supplement? Yeah. Because that's a real hard problem. And here's the problem. Even if that supplement has a study behind it yeah. or has this, the testing that was done. I just had a conversation today with a group uh, that we're looking at. When we double blind a lot of these health and wellness type functional medicine tests, yeah. that means you put the same patient's blood or whatever it is, saliva, same day, two different names, they better come back looking alike. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. They're not. So how can we trust the science behind the things that we're taking if the labs are faulty? Yeah. So we're talking about, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. Yeah. That's why I always go back, how do you feel? Yeah. How are you sleeping? How do you pooping? How do you, where's your energy? Yeah. The basics. How's your cognition? Honestly, how do you feel? Like, you how got, do you feel? Your you cognition. Got, and I mean, most seriously people, though, yeah. most people are not looking at stress and how they're managing their stress during yeah. their day. Why aren't they getting sleep at night? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. And how are they waking up in the yeah, morning? Yeah. When your mind's how racing. They, 